Hi and welcome, this is Anthereon. I'm going to show you about Portal 2, especially for all of you who are reluctant to come because you do not know about Portal, remind you, you do not need to know about Portal to come. But since the initial meeting has passed, this video will show you what Portal 2 is, and if you would consider to join, you can talk to me or Mr. Pat or Audrey, or um, email me, or yeah, anything's good. And um, for those of you who just would like to know about the level design, you can skip ahead on this video. Or um, for those of you who do not know about Portal yet, you can watch starting now. And maybe if I wasn't so clear during the uh, meeting, you can skip ahead to the video so that I can, um, you can, you can know what the level design thing is all about and how it's going to be conducted. So yeah, um, I have created a map to show the fundamentals of Portal. So basically, this is what the level designers are going to do. But um, first things first, let's show what Portal 2 can do. Okay. So basically, every time after you create a map, this is for the level designers, you need to rebuild the map. And the larger the map is, the longer it will take to build. But it doesn't take so long. And there is a more advanced engine which you might want to use, which is fairly difficult and challenging, which if you want to try, you're welcome to, especially if you want to try to make co-op maps. But if not, if you just want to have fun, you want to do single player maps, or you just want to create something epic. Not epically epic, but just epic. Use the in-game editor. So yeah, welcome to Portal 2 for those of you who have not played Portal 2 before. This is the fundamental portal. Basically you open the portal and you open another portal. So one is using a left click and one is using a right click. And then the thing is that you go through the blue portal that and you come out on the orange and vice versa. So you go through the orange, you come out of the blue. That's the very basic of portal. So basically the game is all about solving the puzzle. So basically you need to use all the available resources, like this portal, for example, to go through there because you just cannot go to there and the exit though. So the point is that for you to exit and you know the door the door is always marked with that sign. That's the exit. But um yeah, that requires you to have some problem solving skills. So for this door, you are going to have to solve it through solving the X because on a door which has access, the access needs to be initiated. For example, this one is a weighted, um, weighted pedestal. So basically, you need to drop a box or you need to stand on it in order to open the door. But just a note, you cannot stand on it because when you go away from that thing, the door will close again because there's nothing on it. So you need to have a box. And in this level, there is a box that is going to um, be initiated. Just as a note to the level editors, your level must be able to be solved in order to, um, the, in order for the level to be playable. So yeah, don't think of, don't think of, um, yeah, just yet. <laughs> okay, before we continue with the game, let me show you something um, quite interesting about the uh, physics law of Portal 2. That the engine allows you to do a continuous loop, and um, as you gain speed, you are actually able to, um, you are actually able to do the jump. So basically, just pop up there and just go really fast from there. While if you don't have any uh, power just yet, you cannot do the jump, and um, un unless you have speed up, then you can do that. Okay, so let's continue with the game. So how to solve this thing? This thing just requires you to drop a box over there, and we have the box ready here. So this is what you might want to do. So you just need to um, drop the box, have the box teleported to there, and for this level, you still need to think how to solve the thing. And luckily, it's um, easily visible that you can open a portal here, and also here. So um, yeah, just open one there, open one here, and the box will drop on the pedestal. And if, it, if all things fail, now your box is going to drop. And, um, yeah, you can just drop the box again. Don't worry, this thing will work in time. Just a note um, that 
the only synthesis which you can um, open a open a portal portal upon is the white surfaces. You cannot open a portal in the gray one because they call it metal. Well, this one is concrete. The uh, white one's concrete. So yeah, you can open on the concrete side of them. And yeah, so basically once the door is open, you can just go away and you won the level. Okay, so that's the basic fundamentals of Portal 2. And um, if you actually haven't played Portal 2, you might want to do the story first because the story has a tutorial. And so yeah, now I should begin to the level editor um, side. So basically this is the level editor if you want to um, actually have a new level. Okay, this is how you will start. And what you are going to do here is that you are going to make a puzzle which makes a challenge for the player to actually solve the puzzle. This has not provided any challenge because you can just walk there to there. So basically what you can do is that you can make um, um, use all of these entities or assets in order to make the level challenging. Basically, you can place anything you want. You can have this, the good old button, the square button, the uh, something button stuff. And um, you can also um, create even more um, crazy levels. You can use this thing. And, um, you can even add goo. Um, just let me do a quick demonstration of the goo. can also add a goo. You can add a portal turret, a killer turret. You can use an, all other assets, which will be amazing. But yeah, that that's for now. And also this thing, and the cube dropper thing. Funny that this game is not actually limited. And after that, what you should do is you should connect the handles. So basically, just need to right click. So the logic is that in this thing, you need to have the box on this thing so that the door will open. But to drop the box, you will need to have this handle press. So this is what you what you can do. Um, just a sample of a map. This is what you can actually do. Or what you should do actually. So right click the thing and connect to the three handles. So basically you right click this thing, connect to this thing. Just um, do that for all three. And then after the box is dropped, you can then you can then continue to um, you can then connect this thing, this three things, disconnect to and connect to the door. I mean, um, oops, connect to the door. So I think you have to do it one by one. So yeah. <clears throat> okay, so this is basically what the map is going to look like. And, um, yeah. Just do a quick adjustment so that I can show um, a sample of a map. Okay, so remember the fundamental rules is that you can only teleport yourself on the on the white color po portal. You cannot open a portal on the other color, which is um, gray. 
So yeah, this is just a quick sample of the map. And once everything's fixed, you can start doing this thing. Okay. So you can make a puzzle as um, simple or complex, depending on your um, relativity of portal, on this thing. And um, you can ask people to solve it then. So this is quite the general idea, is that you create a map which is challenging for others to solve. And what is going to happen by the end of this um, creation period, maybe in term 3, maybe in term 4, or um, we don't know when, we haven't decided. We're going to make a whole school competition of solving this portal thing, which is going to be interesting. And um, if we are able to get this um, involved in the PE department as well, <laughs> we're doing a housing competition on portal. Yep, this is just for an, um, a change in the thing, because, well, housing points are only based by athletics, and I am fat, so yeah, I'm not the kind of athletics person, but when you ask me to play Portal, I'll be great. Actually, I have, I have to right-click that one and to tell them that the first one does not drop automatically, but okay. Since that falls... Okay. This is just a sample. So basically what you need to do is that you need to place this thing on the um on the pedestals. Once you're done you need to get to your door. And the puzzle itself ha always must always have a way to solve. So level editors, you must test your maps before you um you publish it for us to play. Or in other words, I must be able to solve it, no just kidding. Well, that's close enough. Okay. So yeah, that's just a quick sample of a level. And that's what you're gonna do as a le level designer. And... If you're interested in joining right now, or maybe just would like to have a try, you can contact me, Mr. Pat or Audrey, or send an email at theoryonatlant.com. That's my email. And just a side note, my name's not Anthurion, I'm Matthew. So, um... You can also ask questions. If you have any questions with which you would like to um, be cleared about, or um, anything actually, you want to chat with me, or you want to play, um, let's say, co-op, or anything, sure. Just leave a message, and I'll be back to you very soon. I guess. Especially if you want to play Diablo. <laughs> so yeah, that's just everything about Portal 2. Um, for those of you who has just known what Portal 2 is, I recommend you to purchase a game, play the single player, and then if you would like to, you can play co-op with anyone else or with me. I'm fine to play co-op with you, regardless of who you are. And then if you are further interested in Portal and you want to create maps, please do sign up. Mm, should I repeat? Yeah, talk to me, talk to Audrey, talk to Mr. Pat, or send an email to me at anterionalive.com. And for those of you who have own Portal and are interested, yes, you can sign up too. Or just for those of you who does not, who missed the meeting on Thursday, please do sign up. I'm gonna post a sign up sheet, pre quick, real quick. So yeah, that's everything I can say about Portal. And um, oh, I can promise you some one thing, just one thing, that when we're done with um making level designs, this is the plan. So basically, um, by third quarter of, uh, of the progress, when we are done with um, practicing, we're going to make a final map. You can work with other people, you can work by yourself, and then we're going to have a map competition internally. So basically, we are going to play your maps, and um, I think that will determine how difficult the map is, and then we're going to publish it once it's done. We're going to publish it to the whole school and let them try, and we're going to have a house team competition if that breaks. Or, 
maybe just a regular one by the events committee. I think that will help too. And um, yeah, once we're done, you're gonna have a party. And um, yeah, there will be cake or lemons. <laughs>